Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am participating in the Top Flight Stamps birthday blog hop, and so please go into the description for the link to my blog post, and then continue hopping there and be sure to leave a comment on each stop for your chance to win lots of fabulous prizes. Today I'm going to be using this Visible Image Zodiac Sagittarius stamp set, and I also have this Alexandra Ranke Star Stencil. I don't end up using it on my card today, but I love it, and I'm going to end up using it in the future on more cards, but I don't use it today. I'm using some alcohol ink cardstock as well as Ranger alcohol ink blending solution, and the colors I'm using today are Aqua, Pink Sherbert, Purple Twilight, and eggplant. You'll see there that I had a silver mixative, but I end up going in a different direction and I'll show you that in just a minute. The way that I start all of my alcohol ink pieces is by first laying down a base of the blending solution. I just think it works a lot better, especially if you're using alcohol ink cardstock rather than Yupo paper, which is a little bit more slick to surface, uh, but I just prefer the look that I get with the alcohol ink cardstock and placing some blending solution down first. So I'm going to create a galaxy type look and I'm going to make this or speed this up a little bit just so you can get the gist of it. So in the center, I want my brightest colors and then I'm going to continue adding alcohol ink blending solution and then alcohol ink and right along the outer edge I want to use my darkest color which in this case is eggplant. So I'm adding some more blending solution and then some brighter colors to the center because I want to make sure that I get this galaxy vibe. I'm going to add lots of stars and white uh, accents later but I still want the base of the card to look like a galaxy so that was where I was going with this idea. You can see that little air puffer I'm using is actually a camera lens cleaner and I just picked mine up at Best Buy, but you can get it on Amazon or anywhere really. So I'll have that linked in the description as well. So I'm adding my last bit of this bright pink color and this is pink sherbet to the very center of the card front. And I'm just doing a couple spurts of air and I'm just going to let it rest. Now I want this to dry, but not fully. I want it to be still tacky because I'm actually going to end up adding some a foil, some holographic foil to this, and I think that it really turns out wonderfully. So I'm going to put it to the side to dry almost fully, but I wanted to show that I use Purell uh, just to clean this alcohol ink off of my glass mat, and it works so well every time. So this is actually another piece that I tried out. So it's not the same alcohol ink piece, but it's the same process. I put a piece of holographic foil, but you can use any type of or any color foil that you like right over the alcohol ink piece while it is still a bit tacky. So most of it is dry, but there's still some tacky spaces or spots. And I'm going to flatten that on there with just the edge of my a bone folder and I'm going to make sure that I can see it sticking and when I pull it off you get this really cool sort of holographic feel all around with this foil feel all around where it was most tacky so you're going to see that where you have the most buildup of alcohol inks. So I'm going to go ahead and switch now and you'll see that the piece that I use is this piece here and that really cool like galaxy black hole look that I get there in the center. I'm really feeling this piece. I love it so much. So now I'm going to go ahead and start using my stamps. These are zodiac signs, so they're constellations um, that are normally you can see in the sky. So I'm going to stamp it right on there and then heat emboss it with white embossing powder. I want to make sure that it is completely dry now before I do this. The, the alcohol piece is completely dry. You can see that I went ahead and prepped it with a powder tool just to make sure that there's no static and that the uh, embossing powder only sticks to where I've stamped. So I've gone ahead and stamped these two in the top portion of my card front, but I will be stamping them more and sort of filling my Galaxy card front with it, and you'll see that in just a moment. I want to make sure that I keep my heat tool quite far away because this alcohol ink cardstock will definitely warp and it's going to be really hard even with foam tape to get that warping out. So I just want to make sure that I get it nice and hot. I let it heat up for probably 35 to 45 seconds before and then kept it away very far away from my card front uh, while I was heat embossing. 
So now is the super cool part. I'm using gouache, and I'm, if you're not familiar with that, it's a really highly pigmented, very creamy, thick acrylic ink. I'm sorry, acrylic um, uh, paint. And I'm just mixing a bit of water with it and then flicking that onto my card front. Now, this is going to take a little bit longer to dry because it's paint on uh, alcohol ink cardstock. And so it's, it's a very obviously a very slick surface. So it's going to need a little bit longer to dry. I add a little bit more water to a separate well there just so I can get some bigger uh, splotches. And so this will look like or give the illusion of a lot of stars in the galaxy. And I wanted to just cover the card front with it. And I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. So I'm going to set that aside because I need that to dry completely and it's going to take a really long time actually so I end up going in with my heat tool later and just helping it along. There were a few words that go along with a Sagittarius in the set and so I'm using those words honest uh, what else do I use? Sorry, honest, energetic, and optimistic. So I'm stamping those in Royal Treatment, which is a really rich purple color from Catherine Pooler. And then I'm just trimming those down. I'm also using the actual word Sagittarius, and I'm going to end up putting that into the center of my card front, sort of as a, as a focal point. And I'm going to prep a piece of vellum with the anti-static powder tool that I have before. I'm then going to stamp the word Sagittarius with Versamark uh, ink, and then I'm going to do the same process as I did before and uh, heat emboss white embossing powder over it. I love using vellum for things like this, especially when I don't want to cover up too much of a card front. We just spend a lot of time and a lot of effort to make this beautiful card front, which is obviously the focal point of the card. So I want to make sure that you can still see the card front through that. And vellum is a really nice way to add a sentiment without taking away too much because you can uh, see through it. It's translucent. So it's really great in that way. So I do cut this card front down to four by five and a quarter, which is just slightly smaller than an A2 size card base. And I end up adhering it to a white a2 size card base with foam tape and foam tape is really great to take out any warping that may have happened um, with any cardstock, even watercolor paper. So it's really great. And I, that's one of my favorite tricks to adhering something uh, to my card base, just to take out all of the warping that happened. I went ahead and added a few gems just to add a little bit of sparkle and I adhered all of the sentiments except for the Sagittarius word itself with foam tape to add some dimension. The Sagittarius word sentiment itself is adhered with a very thin adhesive uh, that's a tape and it doesn't show through vellum very much so that's always helpful. Thank you so much for stopping by. As always, all of the products and links to social medias are in the description, as well as the link to the blog hop. Please be sure to hop along with us and leave comments. There's lots of prizes to be won, and I will see you again very soon. Thanks so much for stopping by.